Hey guys, Lacey and Steve from Steve and Lacey D from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this Netflix series, Peaky Blinders. Yes, Peaky Blinders, season five, episode one, Black Tuesday. Yes. Not Black Friday, Black Tuesday. Yep. So yeah, I am so excited to get back into Peaky Blinders because uh, number one, we're almost caught up with you guys and the season six will be coming out very soon. So I'm excited to see kind of where the Shelbys go from here now that they've taken out Luca Changretta. So much happened, so much. So much, but I think we just need to Start. Jump in and <laughs> kind of discuss at the end. Yes. Because we discussed a lot the last episode. There was a lot, but yeah, it was a great episode and I'm excited for season five. So let's. All right, Tommy, here we go. <laughs> let's do it. Red Rod Hand. The Licky Hills. The Licky, Licky. 1929. <laughs> Take the right. <laughs> Look how theatrical it looks, Steve. Cross the tracks. Cracks. In the border fires in a hundred That's an awfully fancy light to have inside the coin. I want one of them coins. Never seen one like that before. Shelby Company. Oh, Detroit. in Detroit. I mean, Detroit is not that far away from Chicago. No, I mean, really, it is. Yeah, Michael's been working on his abs, huh? He's been work. He, he apparently hasn't had much else to do in Detroit. <laughs> work on them abs. Well, hello. Okay, now we're in Monte Carlo. These are my All right, Aunt Polly. Yeah. All right. Look, Ruby, Daddy's back from his call. Oh. Everything's going to be all right now. We got a little bit of a time jump here. You think? Yeah. It's a gorgeous horse. He's always got the best horses. Is everybody just dressed in lingerie in 1929? Yep. Pretty much. I mean, that's, that's how I remember it. Just get to him and tell him that we've lost a lot. Stein, 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 I mean, just bust through the wall. Plaster. Laugh. I feel like Tommy told Finn to stay put, and this is not Finn staying put. All I know is the stock exchange just took a hit. Well, I'd imagine this is Great Depression times, right? So. Just you can get this thing out of me and so you. Just do it. Yeah. Hey, boy, give me your brain. Dig around in your arm. Look, I'm so thankful for medical technology. Yeah. Mind you, it was a horse. The horse did die. Hold it, hold it. That was, that's a little one? What is going on? Get out, both of you. No, but, but they gotta sew me up. 
I'm just sitting here with a huge wound. And you've got a precious young life, then you fucking idiot. Three inches to the left and that would have been gone. Good. That's on to me. Was she two, two, three? Looks like, like two or three. Yeah. That's cool. He's like a little man now. Oh, listen to me. The horse was sick. He was in pain. The vet couldn't do anything. Even Curly couldn't do anything. I put him to sleep. That's what you do. No! It's what you do. Two horses. Two people. Everybody says... Well, that I mean would have worked for me, but dangerous, my beautiful horse. Too wild to race. Could have been a war horse. I'm tired of the pasture. Couldn't sleep a piece of the quiet cave up in life. And he's now free. In the plane. Crying. Uh Tommy doesn't like killing horses. Ooh shit. Damn. I mean, I knew Tommy didn't like killing horses, but geez, you really don't like it. So, Michael, on Friday, this is going to happen. Fucking Michael. Said he was advised by the broker that the prices would rebound. Everybody was told the same thing. He held on. Oh, now he's got more reason to be mad at Michael. Damn it, Michael. Tommy's pissed now. People, fucking listen to me! What do we do now? So, my boy, and sometimes death is a kindness. I feel like Tommy really wants to frickin' let out some of this rage on Michael right now. Oh, here he goes with whatever the hell that is. I know it's a drug of some sort, it has to be. He, you know, back in the day, they used to fucking drink mercury and shit because they think it made them live longer. So, mercury and radiation. It's probably radiation. Radiation is liquid form? Yes, radium. Oh, no. Opium? It's probably, yes. It's probably some sort of opiate, opioid. Are there still remain? Would you have to listen to the voices that you hear? Do what they tell you to do. Too much to do, right? And kids. Oh, she's gone. Just say goodbye. Linda. Oh yeah, oh. Linda's Linda's gone full bad. Are. She's gone. She's done broke bad. We know who I am. I'm like, right with it. Finally, I can live with it. Problems in the marriage? Big time. I need you to be all right with it. I don't think she's ever going to be all right with it. Would you want the German? Do you? We fancy brave guys. What do you want? I don't think she German. wants that. You think we can fuck and be okay and I'll be quiet while well, I won't? Every week your money's down in the moon making out. He's fucking Robin Hood, champion of the people, while you're up here running the racket for him. According to arrangement, if anything should happen, it'd be you who takes the blame most of the time and swings for it. Yesterday, as you all know, that was a fucking terrible. That was a terrible disaster. Mm -hmm. Just for us. He's like, let me be more professional here. Just for the whole world. Shouldn't we just wait for Thomas? Polly, Arthur's now the chairman of the board. Uh, Mr. She's Chen, like, shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. And all the females were both sharp witted and decorative. Yeah, well, we're a very modern company, Mr. Curry. It is true that a large proportion of the company's funds were invested in American stocks and shares. Invested or hidden? All the investments were approved by the Linda. Only the ones that went through the books, Thomas. No, uh, after this meeting, there will be another meeting. Arthur. Arthur, can't you control your horse? We are a very modern company, Mr. Curry. <laughs> yeah, to be precise, as non-executive director of the company, I need permission from the chairman to present my strategy. Board. Permission granted. Bye. Okay, bye, Linda. She's being very difficult about this. I want to know what his plan is. Oh, we don't get to know right away. We need to be prepared for this. Get out of their room. <laughs> And so did you. You can be out. But he stayed, he's appearing to stay. For the people. Yes. 
I told Finn to stay out of this. He obviously didn't listen. Yep. Sometimes I do. Killing is a kindness. <laughs> and man, we did the job. Tommy's like, that's mine, bitch. Because he, Finn, never listened to me. We're going to When we go out, I'll explain. <laughs> the women in their lives. So, Ada. She's pregnant. <laughs> Ida's what? Ida's fucking pregnant. Bolly, you need to reassure Ida. With a lot to do on now, and gives a fuck who the father is. Really? I already know who the father is. Oh. We've had enough shocks for one day. So it's a shock and a <coughs> ram of gold. <laughs> He's Old just and... sneaky enough. Slide oh, you know about her. Huh? <laughs> Old from our brother, right? Bonnie took a first point. No one fucking listens to me. No one listens to him. <laughs> You shine in the can carriers in South Birmingham and all across Great Britain. Hey, who's this I guy? Suggest, oh, I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed your speech. You've been very eloquent. Thank you. My name's Mosley, by the way, Oswald Mosley. Oswald Mosley. Oswald. Oswald. My constituency board is yours. And let me just say, you've come to my attention. He's like, uh, okay. My wife and I have had a misfortune on the London Exchange. There's 20 there. You'll have to wait for the rest of them. It's a long time waiting for the cavalry, mate. One time, me and my comrades waited three days. The cavalry finally came, an officer joked, we've been delayed, playing a game of whist. I took out my weapon revolver, I shot him in the head, stole his horse, thought of him for cowardice, or for a game of chance. Mm -hmm. On Monday, you will give me the full £50,000 in cash, and I will steal your white horse from under you. Or I will shoot you in the head. Fuck a man like you. Not like me. I'll suck him in. I'll see the photographs. On there. Sammy! Right? He's seen the photographs, so, seen the photographs, so he yeah. apparently don't got no room right. to talk, is what he's saying. Yeah, fine. Didn't know you drank stout, Ada. Almost Times are hard. Exactly how much did you lose? He thinks that we can turn the collapse of the stock exchange to our advantage. He says, when others retreat, you advance. So either that's the baby daddy and she can't oh, tell him. Mr. Shelby? Or she got a crush on him. Something. It's from Winston Churchill. The seat. Adam, you go on. I'll lock up. No handshake for you, sir. Mr. Shelby. All I remember is that your questions interested me. Oh, good. Mr. Shelby, traditionally in this country, print journalists take no interest in the uh, mm. private lives of politicians. Private lives? Well, in these modern times, especially in America, journalists are beginning to... Uh, oh, my best to say, yes. Um, um, readers are beginning to say, whereas before it would have been seen as ungentlemanly to, uh, to ask a public bigger questions about personal matters or business affairs. Oh, well. No need to worry. I'm no gentleman. He's no gentleman. So when I saw that you had been elected as a socialist, you reflected on the fact that working people can indeed change their lives for the better, channel their abilities in new directions. Write this down, Mr. Levitt. The question I have for you, Mr. Shelby, is this. Your conversion from bookmaker is socialist politician a gradual thing or? The road to Damascus experience. Yeah. I gained a license in 1919 for on track betting, but since 1923 I've made my fortune in the manufacture, sale, and export of motor cars. And lately, Jim. And lately, three new homes for orphan children. Write all this down, Mr. Levitt. I have another question, Mr. Sherwood. He's not writing any of it down. In though. Birmingham, there was a major Campbell. Mm. Oh, don't bring He's that motherfucker up. And what is it about working class men like me, standing up in the House of Commons and speaking from the heart? What is it that so troubles you that you can try to undermine me? I am talking about specific events, sir. Which I don't recall, with which I was never personally linked, and after which all convictions were quashed. I recall receiving your letter, and I recall that when I did, I asked a colleague of mine to carry out some research. <laughs> Are you scared? Are. Are you scared? 
Michael Davis, correct? Yes. Yes. Journalist, unmarried, apartment in Maida Vale. Apartment, Mr. Levitt enjoys walks in the park, sometimes alone. Wow. Sometimes not alone, sometimes with other men. Oh. I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. Other men. Oh my God. Oh my God. Leave private lives should remain private. Not everything modern is good now, is it? I'm gonna write this down in your little fucking book. I love it. Oh shit. Tommy goes oh, yes. above and beyond. Man. He's like, I got some research on you too, in fact, sir. The baby's black. He's a bastard. And it's Birmingham. It was the one guy that she was talking to. Because the world I, has yep. the, Yeah. I figured. And you're gonna leave her. With Aunt Polly every day to look after. Aunt Polly insisted that you called her Elizabeth. How do you know it's her? Because Aunt Polly Gray. It's a girl. To be with born golden in the eyes. Year 1930, where everything will be changed for the better. Really? Because the 30s. The 30s house. aren't real good. <laughs> when Lizzie, she said the same <laughs> thing she, that He's she would be a Hollywood actress. In realm. We're bold people, aren't we, Polly? That's the beauty. <laughs> She's like, you're goddamn right we are. So let's be a snap election in this house today. I'm win it, even if I'm running against the devil himself. I gathered. <laughs> Everybody hates me. Nice chance. It's hard to explain. You said it was real, but you're not God. <sighs> Have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> no, not God. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Uh, this guy is not going to make it. Damn. I guess. That's what happens when you come in and start to fuck with Tommy. But he was just doing his job, right? In all honesty, I think the intimidation would have worked. It would have sufficed right there because yeah. that guy was shaking in his freaking boots. Absolutely. So I don't think he needed to die. But then again, I don't know who them guys were there, it kind of seemed that Tommy sent them to kill him, right? Because it was kind of, that's the way it kind of appeared to me. But yeah, I don't think that that necessarily needed to happen, but I think he probably would have fell in line after that whole intimidation. Because if it was true that he was maybe perhaps a gay man and didn't want that to be publicized, especially in 1929. But yeah, this episode... Uh, was really great. I didn't see, I guess, it going this direction uh, in season five, which I like in that they're going kind of a, I, I expected to meet like a new enemy right away. I'm sure we we could have potentially met a new enemy. I mean, that one guy sitting Oswald. in the, the Oswald. Yeah. In the, uh, You've come to my attention now. That could still be an enemy. The Lord, whatever I find this sucker be. Yeah, I find this pretty interesting. It's taking place during the stock exchange. Um, during the the Great Depression. and yeah, yeah, which all is, I mean, everything that happened back then, I'm kind of naive to. So, but I know a little bit about, not much. I, I'm kind of on that same page as to, I know when everything kind of went down. I know that it went... It, and how bad it got, but I don't really know why. Yeah, people were like, trying to get money out of banks, so you had no, you know. Like, I don't I really know, I guess, the whys or the, the ins and outs about it. Or how it happened, why it Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting, um, the characters. Uh, you know, it begins with Tommy apparently tell Michael he needed to, he knew about this. He, or he, he, had, he had an He had an instinct that this was going to happen. So he told Michael to pull out. Michael didn't. Therefore, 
they he lost a good, a good chunk of their legitimate that's, money. Okay. And that's not going to work. And yeah, and Michael is apparently on his way back to uh, Birmingham with his new lady friend. Possibly. She seemed. She wanted. She was pretty dead set on going. His new American girlfriend. Let's just put it that way. She seems pretty dead set on meeting his family, coming with him. He's like, you don't want that, trust me. Mm -hmm. My guess is she'll be there. I'm oh. guessing she's going. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm assuming. But yeah, I it was a great starter for the season, I think. Um, it opened up a lot of doors. Uh, who's this Oswald, Oswald character? Um, Lord Suckerby seems kind of like a dick. I don't know much about him, though. The dude that has the pictures, right? Yeah, that uh, hired Tommy and company to kill this uh, the guy that was he selling seems pretty. He seems pretty powerful, so, I mean, there could be angles there as well. Tommy said specifically, I saw the pictures, right. when the dude says somebody like you, which makes me think that the guy that he had Tommy kill... Uh, that was selling kids was blackmailing him or something because he was involved in something. <clears throat> so that's what makes me think that Tommy's like, I saw the pictures, bro. You, well, who who are you to talk? Is base that's the vibe I was getting mm -hmm. that he mm -hmm. had something to do with the maybe he bought some, maybe he sold some, and maybe, maybe he, he took some pictures with some. I don't know, <laughs> but he's obviously not a good dude from what I can this gather. Yeah, what from what I can gather. But yeah. Oh, I have your twenty thousand so. dollars. Yeah, he's like, Oh, yeah. my family was hit too, so here's twenty thousand I'm like mm -mm. And I like Tommy's story about waiting for the cavalry and turned it, you know, like into what I'm gonna do if you don't have the money. Right. And I like that. And I love always love that about Tommy when he puts a deadline on you. Yeah, interesting. Ada, uh she's pregnant. And we kind of thought there'd be a little well, attraction there. With the, I don't know his name. I can't remember his um, name either. It's but, killing me. But it was the soldier, right? Yeah. The soldier seemed... that um, T Tommy's working with? Ben Young. Ben. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. Um, when they were talking, I got, I got the vibe that there's something going on with these two. And especially when he got up and walked away and she was like, damn it, I miss my, like, I'm like, okay, she's pregnant with his baby. I immediately, either that or something very similar. But yeah, that's obviously what that is. And I, I still feel I, yeah. Arthur's wife is Linda. Yeah. Linda. I, I feel like, I don't know, man, the way Tommy was looking at her, she's becoming a problem. She, I get it on one hand with Linda, right? She wants Arthur to be out of the. I don't she know, doesn't, man. That, that's what it seems like, at least. And, like, we haven't trusted Linda in the past, and then I have trusted Linda. She's like, Linda, Arthur, you're then... taking all the risk, and uh, there's the little reward here. It's like she's trying to turn family and return the family amongst, you know, especially Arthur and, and Thomas. I think she is because she's worried about Arthur. She doesn't want him to go down. And she know. feels like, I don't know. Tommy put you in this place and you're going to take all the blame. So she she's definitely trying to create a divide. I agree with you there. But I don't know that it's for the wrong reasons. I think it's because she might be worried about Arthur. I don't know. She's doing the shit now, so. But she's in it now, yeah. So I don't know either. Where's I, I I cannot read Linda. I don't know what it is about Linda. I don't have a good feeling. I go back and forth on her so much. She'll be it's dead by crazy. the end of the season. She'll probably be dead. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you until next time. And... One of my favorites, Pinky Blinder. Peace out.